Welcome to our lecture online. So what do we do when we have something like x cubed? Instead of a quadratic equation, now we have an equation to the third power. And we're dividing it by x minus 2. Can we use synthetic division on this? And the answer is yes, we can. We do the same thing as before. We write down all the numerical coefficients. So we write 6 minus 13, 1 and 2. Put a line here. Over here we write the negative 2, but we change the sign to a positive 2, so we we'll write a positive 2 here, and then we put a line right there. Remember, this is an easier method, so we can add all numbers. We simply change the sign of that negative 2 to positive 2. We drop the first number. Now, before we actually work it out, let's write down that this is associated with the x cubed, this is associated with x squared, x to the first power, and x to the zero power. And this is associated with x to the first power, because we have an x to the first power there, which means that our solution here will be x cubed divided by x to the first power, which is x squared. So the highest term in our solution will be an x squared, and you'll see how that works in just a moment. But let's go through the process. We drop down the first number. 2 times 6 is 12. We add the two together, we get negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. We add them together, we get negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. We add it together, we get 0. Notice that this is the remainder, which means in this case, there is no remainder. Remember that now we have three terms in the solution, and the first term starts as an x squared, so this is associated with x squared, x to the first power, x to the zero power. That means that we have 6x squared minus x minus 1 as the solution to our division. So this can be written as 6x squared minus x minus 1. Now, let's say that this was a test and you wanted to make sure you did it correctly, well, one thing you could do is you could take this and multiply it by times this, and you should get back the original, uh, the original uh, polynomial. That's what I was looking for. So again, you take your answer, and you multiply it times the denominator, and you should get your numerator back. And that's one way to check to see if you did it correctly. And that is how we do synthetic division, the easy way. You're not going to do it? You want me to show you? Okay, we can do that. All right, so let's take the solution, 6x squared. The way you work this out is negative 2 times a negative 1 is a positive 2. Negative 2 times a negative x is a positive 2x. A negative 2 times a 6x squared is a negative 12x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. x times a negative x is a negative x squared. And x times 6x squared is a 6x cubed. Now we add like terms together. We get a positive 2. We get a positive x, we get a negative 13x squared, and we get a positive 6x cubed. And notice that this is exactly the same as what we have up there in the numerator. And so that's how you check to make sure you did your synthetic division correctly. 